Down here at field level at M&T Bank Stadium, home of the Baltimore Ravens, I'm Bobby Broyles, along with Brandon Noble for CA Football Media Day Live. We are joined by the JMU Dukes with head coach Kurt Signetti. We got Mac Patrick joining us from the offensive line, and Rashad Robinson, who's actually a veteran of this Media Day set. A different set, though, this year. What do you think of the set compared to the suite? Do you like it down here? Well, it's a nice background drop. Yeah? <laughs> can't, can't beat a football field. Oh, right? yeah, absolutely. There you go. <laughs> well, Coach, uh, Preseason pick number one, high expectations, your first year. Uh, how have you addressed that with your team as you guys get ready for 2019? I mean, you really expect that, really, to be honest with you, to be picked first in the conference. Uh, you know, we're picked number one in the country by people, too. Um, I think the guys have been in that position before. But, you know, the key to the drill is once we hit the field, uh, you know, we got to buy into the process of improving every single day and controlling the controllables and putting ourselves in the best position for tomorrow, it's all about the process and eliminating the noise and the clutter. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of clutter at a place like JMU, mm -hmm. and our guys need to understand what's important and what's not, and what's going to make them the best they can be. And if we can get, you know, the whole locker room buying into one vision, one heartbeat, what we're trying to get done and develop that standard and consistency and performance day in, day out, that one play at a time mantra, then we got a chance to be pretty good. You know, if we're reading social media and reading the newspaper, then, you know, that's going to work against us. What, that's a great point. What's some things, I mean, it's a little different now, right, with access to all the information that the kids have sometimes. I mean, are there things that you guys do, you just kind of pre tell you know, don't believe the hype or and not, because you want to believe the hype. You want to have yeah. some confidence, right? Well, you know, I think it's a process. And, and, you know, what happened here is sort of what happened to us at Alabama. There was a point in time we won 29 games right. in a row at Alabama. Uh, things were starting to slip, things were starting to slide, but we were still getting the W. Mm -hmm. The coaches were preaching the message, but the yeah. players weren't hearing it. I think that happened here a little bit last year. There was a long winning streak. Yeah. Maybe things were starting to slide a little bit. There was a lot of early success. The message didn't quite get across, and thus, you know, they stumbled four times. So I think there's a chip on the shoulder entering the season, humble and hungry, which means motivated and committed. And now if we can get everybody thinking alike, not only in terms of what we want to get done this year, but how we approach things on a daily basis, then I think we have a chance to be pretty good. Rashad, it's obviously great to see you again. Unfortunate circumstances, of course, you know, getting hurt early in the year and being lost for the season last year. First, how was the rehab and, and what was it like watching your team last year from the sidelines? And, and how much, I'm sure you're ready to rock and roll for 2019. Oh yeah, I'm ready to go. It was yeah. a, a unfortunate event, nothing I could do about it. Um, uh, Got to give thanks to JMU training staff. They put together a great rehab program to get me back 100%. And also got to give thanks to the guys in the locker room. Those guys stuck by uh, with me when it was a tough time watching them go out and play every weekend, which was the toughest time. But the guys in the locker room kept me upbeat and just said, I'm just, uh, just a blessing that I get the opportunity to do it again because it could have been career ending, but I am blessed to have another opportunity. So shout out to those guys. What, what are you feeling? I mean, what's it going to be like the first time you get to walk in, you know, run out of that tunnel? I mean, it's going to be nerves at first, but I'm more so excited more than anything. I haven't played a game since January of 2018, which feels like forever. But at, at the end of the day, uh, football is football. And I feel like once I get that first snap out the way, I'll be good to go. <laughs> Absolutely. And Mac, a lot of returning offensive linemen for this JMU Dukes team. First of all, talk about how important it is to have that type of continuity on the offensive line and some of the expectations and goals the line has set for this year. Yeah, I mean, I think experience is huge, uh, not only for the offensive line, for every position. Um, and just knowing what that guy next to you is thinking um, without having to tell you, uh, being able to play faster, um, that's just going to make our team better, our run game better. Uh, allow us to win more games. And then obviously you lose your top two leading rushers, Marcus Marshall, Carden Johnson, and you get, you know, talk about some of the guys that maybe are looking to fill that role that you'll be blocking for this year. Yeah, we got a good group of uh, young guys right now. We got Percy, uh, Jay Obese, we have uh, Juwan Hamilton uh, back there as well. Uh, I'm just really excited to see them uh, perform and show uh, everybody that uh, they're going to be great players for this league. Rashad, week in and week out, the 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 talent level in this conference is something special. Now you got to you had to watch last year, right? But what's it like? What do you how do you prepare yourself for the grind of the CAA season? 
Um, I feel like just taking it one week at a time, uh, just focusing on going uh, one and no and not looking ahead at all. Because like you said, this is the best conference in FCS and any given Saturday, anybody can uh, knock you out or catch you off guard. Just like we seen last year, we had um, some slip ups and I wouldn't say that we were looking ahead, but we weren't prepared and other teams were, we had a target on our back and they caught us. So just taking it um, one week at a time and focusing on going uh, one and no for that week and then you'll be good. Now, fellow defensive back last year, Jimmy Moreland, being drafted this past year. First of all, how excited was it to see him get drafted right here? Over, he'll be starting training camp here soon over here Reds, down in Richmond, actually, yeah. at the Washington Redskins training facility. And mm -hmm. How excited are him? Is he ready for his first training camp? Have you spoken with him recently? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I was just with him this past weekend um, yeah. up there um, at his home in Ashburn. We worked out together a little bit before he went to uh, go train to camp. But I'm, I tell him all the time I'm so proud of him and what he overcame. And it's something I expected out of him, and I expect him to go out there and uh, perform like he did in this conference up there in the Redskins. Yeah. Awesome. All right, offensive line. It's a, it's a unique unit. Right, it's a unique group, and they have to be one, right? The, the whole thing. What are what are some things that you guys have done over the last couple months, right? Because everybody sees Saturday, right? Nobody sees the summer workouts, the winter workouts. What are things that you guys do as a unit? Because it's always a little different in that group, in that room. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, especially for us, keeping each other accountable, um, whether that be with drills um, or whether that be in the classroom. Um, and we're getting a whole lot of extra work in. Uh, even when the coaches aren't around, when they're not watching. Um, and I think that's going to be uh, the edge that we're going to have over other teams this year. Coach, uh, your offensive philosophy as you come here to JMU, what type of system are you looking to install? Is it going to be familiar that we saw in previous stops for you? Well, you know, it's more of a team philosophy, really. We want to win the line of scrimmage. We want to win the turnover ratio. We want to win the battle of explosive plays. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do that, that means you run the ball really well on offense and you stuff that run. Mm -hmm. And you do a great job of protecting the ball and you take it away on defense. And the explosive, run, explosive plays to us are runs plus 12, passes plus 15. So on offense, we want to be really exciting. We're going to change tempos. We're going to stretch the field vertically, horizontally, et cetera. Stuff that run, harass that quarterback on defense. It'd be great on special teams. All right, Rashad, here's the, I was going to start over here with the O-lineman. I, I got a food question for you. Right, so personally, I hated camp. All right, I just did. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but I always found a little bit of solace at the training table. So what's okay. your kind of go-to comfort food some of it makes you smile, happy during camp. Um, in the cafeteria, not any place else. Uh, um, believe it or not, during camp, um, salad is really my best friend. Oh, salad. To, no, to be honest oh, with you, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, because um, because because to be honest, which is really uh, kind of tough to eat after a practice yeah. or waking up first thing in the morning. So, but you got to get uh, put back in you what you lost. So I always get a salad every day and. Um, what else would I use? Yogurt. Salad right. and yogurt. Salad and yogurt. So many healthy people. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, mine's not that <laughs> healthy. Um, <laughs> not <laughs> salad. Yeah. Or yogurt. Uh, we have great dining halls at JMU. Um, and definitely my favorite has to be the stir fry. Um, any meat you can want, all the toppings, um, as much as you can get. Sounds good. Coach, do you get to eat it all during camp? Oh, yeah, I do get to eat. You know, I do like salad. I got to admit to that. Uh, low carb and uh, stir fry. I can go for stir fry any day. Uh, that sounds good. That, that's, mine was peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Old school. Yeah. Old school. I had to keep the weight on. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. I make one of those every night. There you go. Camp, that's exactly so. right. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about the players about the first game of the season, but Coach, definitely in your perspective, the first game will be against West Virginia. You played there, father coach there. How special will this game be for you, uh, and especially as your first game as the head coach of JMU? Yeah, well, it, it's pretty unique coincidence. Yes, and uh, there's always excitement for the first game of the season because it's the first game of the season. Mm -hmm. And But, you know, I have a job to do. I'm pretty analytical once the ball's kicked off because I've got to make decisions that affect the game and can't get emotional. I may get cranked up in the locker room occasionally. But, uh, you know, our guys have a history of success against FBS teams. Yep. It really doesn't, the, the opponent is faceless. It really doesn't matter who we're playing. We're going to go in there confident and excited to play. And, Mac, how excited are you about that first game against, you know, West Virginia? Uh, extremely. Um, and I want teams to doubt us. Um, I think that just puts fuel on the fire for us because mm -hmm. um, we fully expect to beat uh, any team we, we play, um, as long as we play uh, our brand of football. Yep.
Do you got a little chip on your shoulder this year? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not only for myself, but as a team. We know as a team last year, we didn't have the season we wanted to, and it would be no better the way to start it off against, you know, West Virginia in that atmosphere, and the tradition that they have is going to be a tremendous atmosphere. So going to the season, we're all excited. And, fellas, you guys are one of few teams that have a first-year head coach. So what is it, and you guys are veterans. What is the first, this first offseason been like compared to maybe the others? Uh, I think I think Coach Sinetti really lets us be ourselves. Um, and that kind of gels with uh, who we are as a team and who he is as a person. Um, and I know his older guy, I really appreciate that. Um, he really lets you, um, you know, be who you are, but at the same time, uh, follow the system and, and his plan. Um, and the transition has been great, it's been uh, seamless, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season. Yeah, absolutely. Just to uh, harp on what um, Max said, it's been a very smooth transition, and he came in with high expectations as they should be. And that's what we expect, and that's our culture in the JMU uh, nation, not only in our locker room, but in JMU nation, period. So it's been a very smooth transition. All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of Media Day, and good luck in 2019. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Well,